She was born on the move and killed on the journey. On Thursday, at just 40 days old, Marianne Bajes was in her mother's arms, wrapped in a black bin bag to keep dry, on a migrant boat headed for England. But her father, Aras, told Sky News the packed dinghy soon started to take on water. We all told the people in charge to please turn around, please turn around. We said don't go, but he did not listen to anyone and just sailed. Then the water got to my waist, my trousers were submerged in the water. Then the dinghy burst and I don't know how it happened, but everyone fell on top of each other and on top of me and my little girl. She went into the water, but I brought her up. Then a few others fell onto us and then she went into the water and I brought her up for the second time. Then others fell on me and then she slipped from my hand and fell into the water the third time. I lost her. The French Coast Guard sent out several vessels and a helicopter, rescuing 65 people on board, but recovering little Mariam's body from the sea. Despite their tragedy, Arras still wants to get to England for the sake of his two surviving sons. I will never try the sea route again but I have come with the aim of getting to Britain so my children will have a future and so I can feed my children. I want to work and raise my children like any other children. It's been the deadliest year yet for Channel Crossings, with more than 50 men, women and children killed so far, either by drowning or in the suffocating crush of those small cramped boats. But in that time, 26,000 people have made the journey, like 20-year-old Salman, who arrived four weeks ago. In Afghanistan, my community is being persecuted by the Taliban. We're being killed or forced to leave our homes. If my life was not in danger, I'd never have made such a dangerous trip. And with the demand still high, smugglers continue to reap huge profits from those people who are determined and desperate to make it to Britain, no matter the risk. Rachel Venables, Sky News.